Calls to Jail Animal Right Activists. Let's have a look. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Heiser Says. I have my stein of coffee and I thought we'd read through this article in the Korea Mail because it's quite relevant to what I reported on yesterday with the cafe getting shut down by the vegan animal rights activists and here in Queensland where protesters are going onto farms, trespassing on private property and are causing a ruckus. So now there's calls for new laws to meet the invading animal activists at the farm gate. Let's have a read through this. So animal rights zealots will be stung with on-the-spot fines if they are found invading a farm in a major crackdown against new age activism by the state government. Now, this is coming from our Labour government here in Australia. So will this upset their Greens comrades? Maybe not. What do you think? Do you think this is a good idea, on-the-spot fines? How much do you reckon would dissuade these people? $5,000? $10,000? Maybe shoveling shit and milking animals for four months. Under new regulations being drafted, police and agricultural department officers will have the power to issue hefty fines, which the Sunday Mail understood could reach hundreds of dollars. Oh, hundreds of dollars. Oh, boy. Well, Egg Boy managed to get $80,000 for his political cause. I can guarantee you that these nutters will be able to raise money for their political cause. But the opposition says the steps don't go far enough. And guilty parties need to face the prospect of jail time in order to deter them. Do you think that would work? Do you think that would deter them? Jail time? Or would it harden them? I don't know. It could go either way. I, th I don't think necessarily traditional jail time. I think labor, manual labor, on the farms, working, you know, shoveling crap. I just keep saying it. I don't know how often you have to shovel shit, but make them do it anyway. Make them go and pick up the cow turds, collect them together, bag them and sell them on the side of the road till they pay off their fines. Because it's just a couple of hundred bucks. They'll probably spend more than that on alcohol on a night out, some of these city dwellers. You know, some of the, these spoiled professionals. Deputy Opposition Leader Tim Mander welcomed the Palaszczuk government's plans, but he said the penalties were not tough enough. These are well-organized, well-funded animal extremists who will stop at nothing to get their way, he said. You know what you should do? Force them to eat meat. Every animal, here we go, every animal they take has to be slaughtered and they have to eat it. You have to make them eat it or else they go to jail for, you know, five years. Well, okay, I'm being facetious here, but still, still. These people need to be fined heavily if they break the law and the need to face the risk of jail as well. The government moves come after amid waves of vegan activism, which has even hit Australian supermarkets where stickers warning of cancer and heart disease have been placed on meat and dairy products. Okay, now, I've gone down a whole keto path. My whole family has gone down a whole keto path. And all of the claims that they're using to base this up, it's all unfounded. It is all unfounded. I'm of the opinion, based on everything I've seen, that humans did not evolve as herbivores, or sorry, as, as um, vegetarians or vegans. We're more herbivore when we're more inclined to eat animal products and fat, particularly for our evolutionary development of our mental capacity. And if you have let's say, inadequacies in your diet, if you're malnourished, if there's certain critical things that you're missing that maybe you can only get from meat and those little pills you're taking aren't as effective. Maybe that explains this crazy behavior and these unstable people. Agricultural Minister Mark Furner said, as a consequence of the new and completely inappropriate era of activism, the Palaszczuk government was to draw a line in the sand. Or shouldn't it? Shouldn't it really be a line in the dirt? But anyway, I mean, here, here we can see footage of 100 animal liberationists going onto a feedlot. You know, personally, I would prefer that we source our cattle from pasture and slow growth, but that's more expensive. Tastes better, though. Tastes a lot better. These activists create a serious biosecurity issue, as well as putting the lives of farmers, workers, and indeed animals at risk. We are getting tough on farm invaders because their actions are dangerous. The activists have outraged farmers and politicians alike in recent weeks after a group allegedly walked onto Lemon Tree Feedlot 
near Milmarin in the Darling Downs regions last month. Police charged a 29-year-old woman and a 26-year-old man from Margate on Friday with trespass. A major protest is also planned in Queensland for Sunday, with a Facebook event telling activists to meet at 1.45am to ensure fuel tanks are full. Well, there you go. No location is given, however, the event says Brisbane. So they're planning something. When was this written? On the 7th. So they're planning something on the night that I'm reading it, although I'll publish this tomorrow. Because I can't have too many vegan animal activist videos in one day, can I? The new fines, which are to be created under the Biosecurity Act 2014, means the law would meet the activists at the farm gate compared to pursuing trespassing charges. A special task force will also be joined between the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries and the Police Intelligence Units to focus specifically on animal activism. It will put processes in place to de-escalate situations while also providing procedures for farmers to collect evidence. What about allowing farmers to get the hoses onto them? I mean, just look at the people here. Look at them. I mean, come on. All dressed in black, all dressed in white. They've got their shirts on. And they think they're doing something. They think This is probably the only time they're actually getting out to the country. This is probably the only trip they're going out to see the country, to have a look at these things. And you have to feel for the farmers. How would you feel if a hundred hooligans just came onto your property? How would you feel for your children? the safety of your family if a mob like this rocked up i wouldn't feel very safe and i'm sure a lot of other people wouldn't either we want our farmers to get on with their job to be able to work in a stress-free environment and not have activists who are coming mainly from interstate to queensland causing them distress which has an impact on our export industry as well so they're not queenslanders they're interstate i wonder how many of them are from melbourne I wonder how many of them are antifa supporters i wonder how many of them vote green I, I don't know. I need my Steiner coffee for this one. I do not believe anyone would believe that it is acceptable for people to cause this distress to hard-working families who work hard on the land. Police Minister Mark Ryan said the new fines would give police and department officers a new tool to combat illegal and dangerous behaviour. The Queensland Police Service will play an important proactive role in the task force, making sure farmers and animal carers have the information they need to maintain safety and report incidents quickly, he said. Well, this is interesting, considering what happened uh, down in Victoria, where those lovely girls, those lovely girls, and let's, let's, let's have a look at them here, you know, here we go. Lovely girls were let off. You know, models of the MGTOW movement, and they were let off. You know, screw you, gippy goat, no conviction. So they trespass under property, they stole people's property, no conviction. How does that, I haven't read the judgment, but I'm asking you, how does that look to you as someone watching this? How does this example look to you as just the strength of our justice system? Have you lost confidence in it? Have you lost confidence in it? Well, Victoria's going, oh, going down the toilet anyway, we know that. But what about jail? I mean, those girls weren't convicted. What about these, this mob? Well, how long will it take to fee- fill up our jails? Then we'll start getting all these complaints. I guarantee you we'll get complaints that there aren't enough vegan food options in the jails. Activists are considering invading a farm or animal exhibition and now on notice that these activities are illegal and carry heavier consequences. Agricultural Minister David Littleproud also warned activists this week of the $420,000 fine they faced if they are found to have improperly used personal information. Now, that is relating to, I understand it, all of these these farms are being catalogued and mapped online and people are uh, making claims about what's happening on these farms and the activists are using this information to stage their, their trespasses and their invasions, they're damaging the property, they're disrupting the businesses. So, I, I, don't, I don't know. I do not know. I mean, okay, I'm sure it probably feels nice. They're in a group, they're in a collective, they've got a common cause that they're working towards and it feels like they're giving their lives some meaning. But I wonder, I just wonder how many of them have dirty rooms? How many of them haven't sorted their own lives in order? How many of them have read 12 rules? How many of them are there protesting other sensible things? Because all the research I have done 
and just the physical changes I've seen in myself, my family, going to a primarily meat-based diet, and the fact that if you have any concept or any belief in just evolution or, or science, I, I don't understand why they are turning their backs on it. Well, no, I do understand exactly why they're turning their backs on living a normal life. It's because they've been possessed by this ideology and they're acting like criminals. That's all it is. They're just ideologically possessed. Let me know what you think in the comments, everyone. Do you think this will make a difference? Do you think this will stop them? I hope it will. And I feel sorry for the farmers. And honestly, I feel sorry for the soy boys and girls. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Ding the bell to see my daily updates. Share and subscribe to help grow the channel. And talk to you later.